are finally at the Jollibee in Pinellas Park, which is in Tampa. So right now they're only doing drive through and they will bring it to your car. So exciting. I have waited so long to come here and they're doing drive drive through orders only, but they will bring it to your vehicle. We've got the Jollibee Jolly Spaghetti, meaty, cheesy, deliciously sweet. $4.99, what a bargain. They got a Chicken Joy bundle, that looks really good. Mmm. Excited. We're in the drive through for Jollibee here in Pinellas Park. Family Sunday trip. This is our first time trying Jollibee here. Actually, it'll be Rob's first time trying Jollibee ever. And Riley Ray's first time trying Jollibee too. So, stay tuned and see what we order. And see how everything tastes like. So we just got through the drive-thru here at Jollibee. Um, we went ahead and ordered what they had. So we did combos today. We did the Hala Hala for dessert. And also we got some Chicken Joy. We got pineapple juices to drink, which are really, really good. Um, and here's the gravy that comes with um, the Chicken Joy, which is basically fried chicken and some palabok which is a noodle dish and a spaghetti as well because filipino spaghetti is on the sweeter end it has meat cheese um and a hot dog in it it's good don't knock it till you try it and it comes with crispy chicken joy which is fried chicken and this is the gravy that you dip it in we also ordered some burger steak which is delicious with a mushroom gravy and adobo fried rice with it so it's going to be really good let's go try all of this all right here's the first thing oh it looks so good we got crispy chicken joy delicious mm, fried chicken and palabok which is a philippine noodle dish it's got um shrimp like pork and um egg it's like a rice noodle and it's got a special palabok sauce in it it looks so so good we're trying that that's the first combo we got our second combo is Filipino spaghetti. It's called the Jolly Spaghetti. I always forget what it's called, the Jolly Spaghetti. So Filipino spaghetti is like a tomato base, same thing, a red sauce with meat, but it has a hot dog in it and delicious cheddar cheese on top. I'm telling you, so good. And a piece of Chicken Joy. So that's the two combos we got so far. We also have a um, rice meal, rice combo. And this one is, ooh, burger steak. That looks so good. It's just like a hamburger steak. Burger steak with adobo fried rice, of course. And, which is the Philippine national dish. And like burger steak with mushroom gravy. So let's try all this stuff out. Enjoy really for, first air with the uh, gravy. Riley, no. That's it. Riley's gone wild. Um, Here's the chicken. We're gonna try each combo first and give it a go and give us your, what you think of it. It's just the skin. Well, the skin's real good. Nice and crisp and crunchy. Nice and crisp and crunchy. Good flavor. Yep, it should have good flavor. You just- A lot of chicken juice. Mm, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Man. You know when the skin alone has good flavor. That's really, really good. You gotta try that chicken joy. It's juicy, very moist, delicious, very flavorful. Definitely not a dry fried chicken, that's mm. for sure. Mm-mm. Really good flavor. Very good. Mmm. Filipino paschetti. Mm-hmm. It's a jolly spaghetti. Ooh, messy, I'm drooling all over myself. Rob just said, why don't we have one of these in Orlando? Cause we need one of these. It'd be like jolly, a jolly bee would definitely annihilate KFC or Popeyes because mm. the chicken is moist, <clears throat> delicious. I'm not sure about the spaghetti. Okay. The 
the the the noodles themselves are good the hot dog is good the sauce i'm not sure is what i and it's got cheese there was cheese on it i also make mixed it around really good to make sure that you got like all the noodles have like sauce on them the sauce isn't quite sweet but it's also not quite savory it's kind of somewhere in the middle Mm-hmm. it is um, it's got the banana ketchup flavor in it because yeah. they add banana ketchup to it. That's I feel thing. like I want it to commit one way or the other, whether it be sweet or savory. Make up your mind. And it's kind of somewhere in the middle right now. Right. <laughs> yeah. I actually think it needs more acidity. Like on a proper, like if you just have like either if you bottled like Prego or whatever, ragu. Or even if you make your own spaghetti sauce. It has more of a tomato sauce flavor. I think this lacks a little bit of the acidity. And yeah, it's it's not so, so sweet that you can't. But it's just, um, it's good. It has a good flavor, but it's not... You don't and the, 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 more, the more bites I take of it, the more I like it. Mm -hmm. But still... I, I really feel like I want it to commit one way or the other. Whether you want, it want more? Whether it want, well, no, whether it wants to be sweet or whether it wants to be savory, because it's not really either. It's just kind of sitting in the middle right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. That chicken, though, wow. Yeah, the chicken is very good. Very juicy, very tender. The the crisp on the skin is excellent. It's beautiful. It's so cute. There's so many Filipinos taking pictures in front of the Jollibee. I love it. We're just really excited to have one of these here in the central florida area granted it's in tampa and pinellas park but hey it's drivable either jacksonville pinellas park like that's it There's room to it. but yeah so we're taking a round two adobo rice, rice and, and burger and steak mm, this is gonna be steak. really really good steak. so round two here we go all right honey here's your pork i know so we got like spaghetti juice i'm gonna try mm. some gravy with that adobo rice mm. Burger steak. Burger steak and adobo rice. I love me some good burger steak. It's probably well done. They don't do al dente around here. Not with burger though. Burger's got to be well done. You got to have a little bit of steak and a little bit of rice and juice. It's good. Oh. That gravy is excellent. That mushroom gravy. I'm just saying. Wow. Uh, this they call it burger steak. It looks like it's just a burger. Oh, it is burger steak. <laughs> it's good. All right. We're into the burger steak here. Rob, tell everybody what you think. Well, the burger steak, I think, is pretty much just a hamburger. It's a hamburger patty, and then they throw some mushroom gravy on top of it. But the but the mushroom gravy and the, uh, is, is this adobo rice? Is that what it is? It's adobo fried rice. Adobo oh, fried rice. yeah. With little so bits of pork good. in it. I need a whole side of adobo rice. Just saying. By itself. Riley, what do you think of that adobo rice and the burger steak? Is it good? I guess, uh, yes, it's good. <laughs> Puppy approved. Going in with a palabo and another piece of chicken. We're about to dig in into this palabo and another piece of chicken joy. And we still have gravy because you must have gravy to dip in your chicken. Yo, chicken. All right, first impression. First time Rob has ever had palabok. I've never made this for him because I don't really know how to make palabok, but I can figure it out. It's got a big, smells like garlic with a shrimp and the egg and the little pork bits. Mmm. Mmm. The lemon juice. That's what the lemon juice is for. Hang on, let me add that on there. So I added the packet of lemon juice. Adds a little bit of acidity to it. It'll cut back on the salt, although it's not very salty at all. I think it's got good flavor. It's a very unique flavor because Palabuk does have- um, It does change the flavor a little Like bit. little baby fish, like like little, I think like um, it, crushed up fish in it. It does, it does have a fishy taste to it. Yes, it does have fish in it. I mean, it's crushed up like um, fried fish, like crushed up bits in there. That's what palabok is. So it does have a little bit of crushed up fish, um, shrimp, and egg. It's really good though. Okay, final thoughts on the palabok for Rob. Final thoughts, because it's your first it's, time adding palabok. It's good. It's, I mean, it's not my favorite. 
The my favorite today, I think, was probably the adobo rice with the uh, with the mushroom gravy. That was delicious. Um, the the fried chicken is excellent. It, it is it is on par with any fried chicken that you that you get. That you even get homecoming, and that's high standards because it's very flavorful, <clears throat> juicy, delicious. The skin has there's, very. There's not a lot of uh, spices or flavoring on the skin, but it's very well. Very executed. well prepared, very mm -hmm. well crisp. It, it the chicken is nice and juicy. It's yeah, the the chicken is very well done. And when you combine it with the gravy, I mean, gravy makes everything better. Right? Am I right? More so, gravy for everybody. I think we're on to the desserts now, then, aren't we? Yeah, we're moving on to dessert. The best part of the meal: peach mango and I didn't pie. Even wait, I just I just bit into the peach mango pie because I wanted to try so it. So it comes like this: peach mango pie. Like and it's apple. it's it's pretty good. I like it. Is it delicious? What does it taste like? Peach mango. It, well, that's that's probably a good guess. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh. It's good. And it's got that Philippine mango flavor. Mmm. Yum. That's crunchy on the outside. Delicious on the inside. Oh yeah. All done. All right, we're moving on to the hollow hollow, which is um, flan, like mango ice cream, ube ice cream, which is that purple yam. I know Rob likes the ube. Um, it's got, you gotta mix it all together, baby, even the stuff on the bottom. Oh, you just swirl it all together? Yeah, all together, including the bits on the bottom. So there's like sweet beans, there's um, like preserved fruit on the bottom. Um, crushed up ice, kind of like a Hawaiian ice. I thought you ate it like a parfait. No, not a parfait. You gotta mix it all together. Hollow hollow literally translates to English mix mix. Oh, I done messed that up already. That's right. Because that's the literal translation of hollow hollow is mix mix. So you gotta mix it all together. And it's got like um, condensed or evaporated milk in there so it's really good you mix it all up the beans the sweet fruit the ice cream in there mm, makes for a delicious yummy yummy dessert very very traditional people make it very differently but if you have like a hawaiian oh, but now i need a straw to drink it oh oh yeah we got straws right here here you drink your pineapple juice you could use your straw There's a straw. Oh, that's jackfruit or lychee or something or mango. It looks like jackfruit. Mmm, yummy. Here's a straw. So, what do you... What is it? It's jackfruit. You've never had jackfruit before. Oh, that face. He's never had jackfruit before. They've had Very it in Jamaica. starchy. Starchy and kind of slimy but sweet. Right? Well, I've never had jackfruit before. Oh, boy. What are your thoughts on the hollow hollow? Give us thoughts. I like the peach mango pie better. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> it's, um, the, the little ice cream scoops are good. I like the ice cream scoops. I could have eaten those separately. There's a lot of ice in there. And gelatin um, or jello. Yeah. Jello, oh, little or, pieces yeah, of fruit. Yeah. Um, some of the fruit's good. I'm not a big fan of, I guess it was the jackfruit. Mm -hmm. Um, but beans i yeah. like the jello oh the coconut the green thing is a little coconut they're good so all in all i mean jollibee is great if it was if it was closer you know i'd i'd go to it i i don't know that i would drive two hours just to go to it if you're filipino you would but if you never had it and I know so many people like Filipino food, and this is like, you know, first time like Americans Filipino try food. Filipino food, but I cook him Filipino food traditionally. It's his first time eating Filipino food, is Filipino delicious. food, like fast food. So I think all in all, it was a win. It was delicious. Yeah, we were here, so it was it was worth the... The 20-minute, the 21-minute 20 20 minute drive. drive from well, Bush Gardens. It was a little bit longer because it was a wreck on the There interstate. was a wreck on the interstate, but it was, it was worth it. It was worth the drive out here to try it. So definitely. I love the adobo rice, but she makes great adobo rice. I love her adobo rice. Adobo rice for sure. But all in all, if you're here in Florida, one in Jacksonville, one in um, Pinellas Spark, drive to go get it and get some, get yourself some Jollibee. 
Now it's your turn to, to make, make some, some magic. magic. Comment, like, and subscribe. And a special thank you to all of our Patreons. Thank you guys so our much. Our patrons, you guys make all of this possible. Yeah. Helps keep us going, helps keep the lights on. That's right. Love, you, love guys. you guys. Good night.